Hi guys, welcome, welcome to my kitchen, you guys. Oh, okay, bang. Welcome to my kitchen, welcome to my art channel. Welcome to a window into my messy life. So, I'm gonna try to do this slowly today. I'm going to try to explain what I'm doing for those who don't know. Um, most of you know, and I do tend to talk really, really quick and my assumption is that you do all know. So we're gonna do a bloom. We're gonna do a bloom transfer. So I'm gonna pour my first puddle of paint, base paint onto this tile. Then we're gonna scoop it up once we've blown our bloom out and we're gonna transfer it to yet another tile. So my base for my bloom or my swipe is dirty paint. I didn't mix it, usually I mix it, so sometimes it's a pale gray, but that's just so you guys can see, it's just leftovers. Everything that got scraped or dumped off my mat got popped into a cup, and that's it. And that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna give it a torch, because it has a few bubbles in it. And then we're gonna lay down our bloom colors. So, because this is quite dark, we're gonna lay down dark to begin with. So this is Atelier Blue Black. We're gonna just puddle it on top of each other as we do for all of our blooms. And then this one is Jacquard Pearl EX Pigment. This is, um, I'm not sure. It's pretty though. Okay. Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. And then this one is Atelier Red Oxide. I'm not going to put a lot in because this piece is going to be quite dark. And then this is my Mystery Pink. It's a TLP pigment of some color, but it got quite mixed up with other things. A little bit more scarlet, that's what that is and a little more quinacridone nickel azo gold. So, as most of you know, I do write all my recipes generally in about every third video. I write my recipes down or anytime I have changed a recipe, it's in the description box below. And so if you don't know where the description box is, there's a little V, I think it comes up on the lower right hand corner of the video. Just click on that, take advantage of that guys. Uh, many, many artists put really, really valuable information in there, and it helps a lot. All right, I'm just going to put my paints off to the side. And just because this is quite dark, that is just a little bit of white satin enamel mixed with the tiniest little bit of golden ochre. All right, my friends, let's do this. So we're gonna add, oh goodness. We're gonna add black cell mix first. And then oh, we might just add all of them, black, white, and gold, who knows. Let's give this another little pop. And I'm gonna give this a good stir. It's been sitting for the majority of the day. So always stir it, always stir everything. Paints do settle. You'll grab them even a couple hours later and you'll think, oh, they're fine, only to find that they have settled. So that's our black. This is my white, which is almost gone. I have to make some more. I'm not putting them on in strategic tidy puddles, as you can see. I'm just kind of dumping it. I'm not, uh, I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm just looking for a pretty bunch of paint to work with. And my gold is almost empty. So this is Atelier Gold Cell Mix. And we're gonna put that aside. And we're gonna blow this out. All right, my friends, here we go.
I'm trying to blow sideways across the puddle so that I'm dispersing my paints kind of on a, on a, like a plane across instead of blowing directly down. And then that way I can blow out to the opposite side. Okay, it doesn't look like much. I understand that. We're gonna put that over here and then we are gonna pick it up and transfer it onto, so this is a four by 16 tile. Um, I don't do anything to them. I just give them a wash, make sure there's no fingerprints on. In fact, usually I use Windex, which I've already done, but then I touched it. But just for the sake of the video, we'll do it again. And then we'll give it a quick little wipe. Sometimes I don't even bother to, I wash them when I originally get them and I paint them over and over and over sometimes and I've never really had any problems. Okay, so this, this particular base, I make thinner. So for my, my blooms and my swipes on the hexagon tile that we did, I make my base quite a bit thicker. Um, I use whatever house paint I'm using at the time, sometimes a combination of two, and I always, always put a generous scoop of Velspar Ultra Deep Base in it, and then that way if I decide to modify, it will help keep its lines. For the original, not the original, but for the tile that's going to be our finished piece, I do the opposite. I thin my base coat. So this is the same paint minus the deep base because I don't need the thickness here and I prefer to actually get rid of that gooey bit I actually prefer to take off any extra paint now so that when we spin if we spin we don't spin all our pattern right off and that's that's really just me you guys everybody's different um this this paint this base coat is nothing more than a base coat so that our paints will slip and slide that's all it is so you know we don't really need them to slide across the board we just need them to slip so we can basically thin this right out so that there's very little excess and then that way the weight of our paint and the bulk of our paint is all going to be in our blooms transfer or swipe or whatever it is that you're doing. All right, I'm going to just spin this a bit to even it out. As I try really, really hard with the video thing, and, and it's not my thing. It was never my thing. It was, it was upon many, many requests to please do a video that I did. So I do talk fast. Um, one, because I'm nervous. Like it's, it's like the nervous laughter thing. Like it's really, really hard. And for those who have never done it, it's really, really hard to stand in the kitchen with a phone up above me. And I haven't been painting that long, so the painting is relatively new for me too, so I'm continuously watching everything. I'm trying to sound somewhat smart and entertaining, and so I do try really hard, you guys, um, for the occasional person who has something unkind to say, um, you know what, just push off, just pass me by, I'm, I'm okay with that. I said I'm, I'm not I'm here for me and if I can share something or help someone out along the way I'm I'm super pleased I'm an open book I don't have any secrets um, but do treat me and other artists with the respect that we deserve all right enough lectures for the night so there we go so we don't have a lot of paint on there um, and we don't need a lot. So we're going to go back to picking up our beautiful puddle over here. 
and that's it. We're going to just pick up all of these colors, some of which kind of look like mud, but that's okay because when we lay them down, it always looks different. And I, and I've said that to lots of people. I look at some of these and I think, ooh. And then when I put them down, amazing things happen. Not always. Sometimes it looks like mud. Looks like mud on the small tile. Looks like mud on the big tile. So I'm just laying my my tile, my putty knife totally flat. And I'm just going to, just, we're just going to lay it down. So one of the things I'm trying to work on personally is not to go so quickly because we don't it doesn't really need to be a speed thing it can it can be a slower process that's okay and, and sometimes just taking your time is a game changer so i'm not i don't like the sloppy bits that i spilled and that's okay i do like the striations of color I don't think we're going to wind up with cells, but that's all right. So same thing. We're going to go in here. This time we're going up this way. So I am trying to learn that this is all about hand movements and how you move your hand and whether you touch down on your base tile creates the shapes and the patterns. Just like that. This end's kind of boring because we have two different colors or two colors of blue. Do I do I dare? Oh, I don't know guys. Okay, you know what? I think I might just spin it. It's not amazing by any means. Oh goodness, I have my wall up for me. Now let's scoop up some of this. I shouldn't have put the satin enamel in it. I can I can tell just by the way the paint is breaking up that that's the satin enamels. Sometimes it's a really cool effect, but sometimes it's not so cool. All right, so I'm not liking that a lot. So here's what we're gonna do. I don't like it for two reasons. One, because I was gonna modify and I forgot, and I, I overcomplicated everything. So let's put down some plain gray paint and some more color. So this time let's do the blue and let's do the Conacredo Nickel Azo Gold. I don't even know if you guys can see this, but I'm just basically building my same bloom petals as we have just previously done. And this time we're gonna put the white on first because we're gonna try to get a little bit of light into this piece. And maybe we'll just do white. All right, let's blow this out, guys. All right, and let's slide everything back over. I totally forgot that I was gonna try to modify. When I do a modified piece, I don't like as much paint. I like more, more negative space in between the lines. All right, let's just give this a, a bit of a wiggle around. All right, let's pick up some of this pretty white, although it's Just blow that out a bit. Pick up on this side. 
So I'm going to try to get a little bit of light in here. Thing. Laying my putty knife quite flat. I don't want that big blob of glue. And then, as interesting as that is, we're going to go over it. All right, so visually, it's nicer with the whites. All right, let's spin it. Little spins, baby spins. So this leftover paint is going to be my base for my next bloom or, or my next transfer of whatever sort, whether it's a bloom transfer or transfer swipe or whatever it's going to be, but this is going to be the base paint. So I just literally keep it, scoop it all back into the center. It all goes into a cup sometimes because it gets really, really bubbly and that's it. So this is way more coverage than I would prefer. Um, I would like to take out a little bit of something in there. But I don't know if I can without ruining the bits that I do like. But we can try. Let's try, you guys. Mm hmm Maybe just in there somewhere. All right, I'm just going to go in with my palette knife and take a little bit of this brownie color out. And then with my fancy fork, We're just going to fill that back in like that. Yep, that's better. All right, another quick spin this way. All right, so I think because I don't really have enough negative space in between the lines to modify, I don't think we're gonna modify this piece. I think we're just gonna let it be, and then we will regroup and come back and we'll do another piece and we'll modify. What does that sound like, you guys? Oh, there goes my walls. Gosh darn. All right, you guys. Okay, so it's quite pretty now that we fixed that section because that's what it needed. More coverage than I normally do. Um, you do not have to stop here. You can continue to add more layers. You can take paint off. You can put paint on. Um, it's your painting, guys. The sky is the limit. Um, sometimes when you see a painting here and then I repost it again on Facebook or I resin it and then I repost it, I have gone back in and I've doodled and, you know, I've painted out and I've drawn little embellishments. And here, I'll show you. 
So you didn't actually see this painting, um, but it was kind of boring. So this afternoon while I was sitting watching dumb daytime TV, I just drew a bunch of little lines. And you know what? It just adds to the piece when it's resin. It'll look quite neat, I think. So that's it. You guys be creative. Just work with your pieces, add to them, embellish them. You know what? Worst case scenario, you hate them. Scrape them, re-pour. All right, my friends. Thank you so very much for joining me in the kitchen tonight. Um, hopefully I talked slower. Um, it's not really one of my good, my good things. I just kind of babble right through life. But it's the process, my friends. And you can all ask, you know what, reach out, ask. Like I said, many times, I am an open book. I don't believe there's a whole lot of secrets. Um, consistency is your key. And then after that, technique is just practice. All right, guys, for happy, stay safe. We'll talk really, really soon. Bye for now.